Hello there and welcome back to another video here on the Master Moldy channel. Now don't forget if you do want to talk about all the leaks there'll still be a speculative video at the end of the month to talk about next year's leaks but there's still a few sets that we yet to see official images of this year. Do consider joining the members there's not that much space as it would appear on the members board and once we get to about halfway I feel like that's going to be filling up real quick and you might have noticed that we have chopper here from the new droids there will be a video on that later on will tomorrow for you i'm recording it later on got another busy week and and we're still working on the bricklink store but today's video is centered around the lego city it's more of a lego star wars city now with a new star wars module we're working on and we will be working on floor three which is to represent Watto's Wares, which is the name of Watto's shop. And that will be built on top of the Lars Homestead floor, which we did last week and the week before was Moss Isley Cantina, converted the Master Builder series set into a diorama and then into a 16 by 16 modular. So let's take a look at what we've got so far. We've already got the start to our Tatooine Tower here. Moss Isley from A New Hope. Then we've got the Lars Homestead from this sort of Kenobi era, we're now going to be working on Watto's Wares from the Phantom Menace. And let's see if any of you can guess what my final floor is. Another iconic location from Tatooine for this tower. I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit the roof on top. That's something we'll worry about next week. But this week, I would like to get a few more minifigures out the front and busy the town up a bit. We've got a few of our speeders down here and I have a feeling... I will be adding to this collection of speeders over the course of the next few weeks. Perhaps we can add another speeder out there and we'll get a minifigure for them later on. But I won't be time-lapsing it. Not many people seem to actually watch the time-lapse. So hopefully we'll be able to jump straight forward to the finished model. And I have just finished building the third floor, also known as Watto's Wares. I don't know if this is the name given to Watto's shop in an actual movie comic or wherever actually i've forgotten a tile there i'll do that in just a second but it's the name given in the tiny death star game which if you don't know already i do really like and actually 3d printed a diorama display to make it look like these were straight from the game but let's break this down and take a look inside and you can see just how easy it is to pop off all of the layers and the roof without having any stud connections between them. I've tiled off all of the top of all of these bricks and now it's time to take a closer look at the brand new one for this week. After doing the Lars Homestead, I was thinking about doing the Shmi Homestead as well, the, I guess the Skywalker Homestead, but I felt like Watto's shop had a bit more of an importance. That is obviously where our characters meet Anakin for the first time, and it all goes from there. We've even managed to replicate the scene of Jar Jar chasing the pit droid around. And you can see just in the back corner, we've got one, two gonks and a pit droid folded on top, just like we see in the movie. There's actually another gonk droid at the front here, which will be creepily looking out this giant window and as soon as I realized I was building Watto's shop for the third floor, Watto's wares, I had to get this massive window out the front because the rest of the buildings so far I've had, there's a few small windows, I mean this right wall literally only has this little gap here, whereas on the right of Watto's wares we've got this big door that's leading to the outside. Rather than boxing everything in with not really any doorways. I realise I probably should have included some sort of door for Luke's room, but I've included all the archways that we see in Watto's Wares. In The Phantom Menace, we've got the arch window doorway towards the back where the gonks are. We've got the giant door leading to the outside. We've also got this counter, which I assume Watto probably lives somewhere behind here as well. And then we've got the door entering and a massive window which Watto could probably use for sales. I'm not sure we really see this side of Watto's hut. I guess we see it from the outside, but we don't know what's on the inside. So I've added this big window to keep it open and have Watto overlooking the city. But once again, using no studs on top, it's so easy to pop this on and off. And I've included these corner plates on the bottom of Watto's where 
which just slips in. And I've actually used a gray base plate. I could have pieced together a sandy one, but I felt like Watto's floor would be a bit dirtier than the rest of them. You can see all of these tiles and bar elements that I've laid around to dirty up the floor a little bit, make it look a bit less clean than the rest of them, which is something I probably could have done with the other floors. And in the roof, just slots on top and even though we're only three quarters of the way there the tower is looking really really good so let's get it into the lego city and though i do keep referring it as the lego city we did name it last week taylor town so perhaps i should be using its formal name instead but it is so easy to slot these in in their layers you can see the bottom floor just there i'm not quite sure how much you can see with my camera work i'm focusing and not trying to destroy the rest of the tower. But I will be converting all of my other towers to this studless connection. And I really think Lego could look at something like this for their modulars because it makes it so easy. But you can see this Tatooine tower in Taylor Town, that is a load of T's, really does stand out among the rest of the builds. I guess it's somewhat similar to not only the Lads Flat from Friends, but also Lo-Fi Girls Apartment over there. What I might do for these apartments on the right is have them as hidden minifigure displays so that I can pull them out and take a look at all my other minifigures. But I'm really liking how the city is turning out, especially now that we've brought Star Wars into the city. I think it is looking so much better and I'm excited to finish up Tatooine Tower next week and move on to the next Star Wars planet themed tower. Originally, I did say once I finish this tower, we'll get straight on to the next one. But I'm looking at it and in July we actually have five Thursdays. So we've got the first floor to work on the tower. The last two weeks we've built floor one, two and now we're on floor three. Next week I am going to be building floor four. But for the fifth Thursday of the month as we've got a bonus one and as the city will have five complete towers in it, I thought it'd be better to actually finish the rest of the city plate up the pavement, add a load of minifigures, which I hope to do today. I have spent so much time on fiddling around with Watto's shop. And again, I haven't time-lapsed it because it didn't seem to be that popular, but I'm happy with where it ended up. And I'll definitely be looking at having an extra week between this one and the next. So you will have to wait two weeks till the sneak peek of the next tower, but it's gonna be a good one. I'm really excited to see how I'm going to make it possible. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that three or four modular blocks tall because I do wanna implement a bigger roof design, which means I'll need the clearance above it and that might just make the city look a bit more interesting with the height change. But if you did enjoy the video and did enjoy this series so far, three episodes in to the Star Wars fired Taylor Town, then definitely drop this video a like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the final installment of Tatooine Tower coming very, very soon. Coming. This time next week, next Thursday, mark it down in your calendars and be sure to turn on notifications if you want to know when that video goes live. Check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.